Hey everyone, and welcome back to Bleach Brave Souls. So today, as you can see, I am outside, and it's a beautiful day. Um, and the reason I'm outside is because I wanted to show everyone how you could play this game on the go uh, without, you know, giving it too much attention. And um, the way you do this is you take advantage of the auto feature that's in game. Now, um, but first, the first thing you want to do is go to settings, go to options, and turn all your notifications on. Um, that way, you know, your phone or your tablet or whatever device you're playing the game on will give you a little beep or a little buzz to let you know when you have sold tickets or when events start um, and anything like that. So once that's done, you know, you're going to pick the character you want to use for the uh, for leveling or you know grinding experience points crystals or uh, characters and you want to gear them out so that they can take care of themselves basically in uh, when you play a stage on auto um, I'm using level 70 Neutra and uh, you know you can use whoever you want but preferably you're gonna want to use a strong character that uh, that can do a lot of damage, that can take a lot of hits, things like that, or is the right color for the stage that you're trying to run. And, um, you know, I just gave him whatever accessories I had laying around. And the character links are really what's important. Um, so I have Orihime, so he can get uh, health back between, uh, between zones, because your character is going to take uh, a lot of hits, you know, because he's playing on auto. And um, Orihime will give him health back between the stages, like I said. And also, I have the Soifan equipped, which reduces the poison duration, and the Yamamoto equipped, which reduces the fire duration. And those attacks, those enemies, are the ones that are really, that you really gotta watch out for, because they can do a lot of damage if you don't have these character links um, equipped. All right, so, but with the character links, that damage almost becomes negligible. You know, you don't even have to uh, you don't even have to pay attention to it. So they're really underrated character links if you're just grinding or um, you know leveling, um, because you know as we know, you always take hits in this game, just because of lag or whatever reason. You know, you're, it doesn't register your swipe, your dodge. Um, but yeah, so once you have the notifications turned on and the uh, character set up. Just go into the stage you want, and you know I've been grinding the uh, Tetsu Zaiman's special event for the characters to you know use for ascensions, and it's very hard. And you usually probably want to pick an ally um, just to make sure that you win. I mean, it's not really something that I would be in danger of not winning, but you know you get free friend points too, and you know why the heck not? So let's go with let's go with one of the people that one of my subscribers, um, Krogan. You're a green, so I can't use you. I don't, you know, I can use you, but you would be ineffective because the bosses are red. So um, let's go with. Oh, let's just go with uh, let's just go with Lamb Toshiro. Oh, who cares about that? Ooh, it's a little windy out here. Alright, so here we are in the stage, and all you gotta do is press auto. Bam. And with the setup for the character, um, this is, you know, no sweat. He's gonna, he's gonna run the stage, and he actually does, he, do, he, does, he does it pretty quick. You know, um... You know my best my best time on the stage is two minutes, and you know he gets you know two thirty or two fifteen, so it doesn't take him much longer than it takes me if I was actually playing the game. And you know you can just by by playing the game this way you can you know you can be out you can be you know at work or at school or you know wherever you guys go, and you can just press auto and the game will. You know, you, you can just do the quests without paying any attention at all to the game. You know, and with the notifications turned on, 
you'll know when you have you know new sold tickets. So you just pull out your your phone, your tablet, press start on the quest. You know, put it back in your pocket. You know, put it back on the desk. Put it back on your table, and you know, just let it let it do its thing. Um, and doing this, you can you can you can progress a lot more in the game than you probably could otherwise. And you can still kind of you know live your life at the same time. Um, you know, I can just show you guys what's going on um, outside here today. Not really a whole heck of a lot. I'm in my yard right now. Um, it's a beautiful day, nice temperature. And uh, yeah, you can just do whatever you want. And I know that a lot of you guys probably already know this. Maybe you were already even do it. But for those that don't, you got to remember that this is a mobile game. And it's designed to be played on the go. So it has these, uh, these tools that you can use uh, to play it on the go and make it convenient and easy. You know, I, I don't know if this, this method, it wouldn't work so well on a harder stage, you know, unless you really geared out your character properly. But, you know, for the special events or whatever, you know, easier stages, it's no sweat. And, you know, you, if you guys notice how I always wear this, uh, this hat, um, it's because my hair is kind of at a weird length. And, um, you know, it just goes crazy all the time. So just throw the hat on and uh, problem solved. So, uh, yeah, there you go. The quest is done. Um, two minutes and 40 seconds, whatever. Who cares about that? You know, I got a character. And, uh, you know, after that, you know, you just, if you have no soul tickets left, just, you know, just Put the game down for a while, put the phone down, the notifications will tell you when you have another soul ticket left, and you can repeat the process. So, um, like I said, it's a real easy way of accomplishing uh, stuff in-game without paying much attention to the game. Alright guys, well that's all I had. Uh, I hope you found the information useful. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, I just reached 100 subscribers, so... Maybe I'll do something uh, special for that. You know, 100 subscribers may not seem like much, but you know, I only play one game on this uh, YouTube channel, so I'm actually kind of surprised. Um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.